In the previous video, we covered how to add one asset at a time. In this video, I'll show you how to upload a virtually unlimited amount of assets all at once. Once you've signed in, go to the Tools tab and choose Import. This will give you directions on how to upload your spreadsheet of assets. Once you do that, you'll be able to make use of all of the features of Asset Tiger. Start by downloading the template. When you open it, it'll look like this, though depending on your spreadsheet program, it might look a little different. Here on the top row are all of the different categories of information you can fill in. The only required fields here are the asset tag ID and the description. The rest is optional, but the more you fill in, the more asset tagger features that you can use. Things like tracking depreciation and funding audits. Now this process might take a lot of typing or cutting and pasting, but the good news is you never have to do it again. Once the file is uploaded, your information is safely stored. Here is an example of a spreadsheet ready to upload. Once again, remember that the asset tag ID and the descriptions have to be filled out. The rest of the fields are optional. If you want more information about what can and can't be typed in each field, download the limits document right here with this button. This will tell you everything you need to know. When you're ready to upload your document, choose the file from your computer and click Upload. This section is called Column Mapping. Basically, scan through the categories on the left and make sure they match up with the data you're about to upload that's on the right. If you use the template, then all of this information should be correctly lined up. If you're uploading from a pre-existing document, this would be the place to make sure that the category fields match up with the uploaded data. When you're ready, click Preview. And here are the details of a few assets. If the data looks correctly organized, then proceed. If not, scroll back up to Map Again to fix the problem. Now let's look at these three questions. They pertain to adding this new data to data that's already on Asset Tiger. Number one, if import data contains an Asset Tag ID already existing in Asset Tiger, then Update Asset will add this new data you're uploading now to the data you already have the same Asset Tag ID. Or click Ignore if you'd rather default to the older data. Number two, while updating, if the existing asset has a value in the cell and the import data is blank, then you have the option of keeping the existing value or making the field blank. Number three, if import data has linking fields like categories, sites, locations, etc., and existing table is missing data, then in the linking table, for this, let's say that, for example, in the group of assets that you're importing, one of them is a forklift that's parked in garage number four, but there's been no record of anything in garage four up to this point in any of your other assets. Clicking Insert Record will add Garage 4 as a location when the group of assets is uploaded. Clicking Skip Record will simply skip the record. And there you have it. All of these assets are now part of your catalog of assets. You have access to all the functionality of Asset Tiger. If you have any uploading problems, don't worry, we're here to help. If you have questions, give us a call or email us. You can find our contact information here. Click Help on the left side and then contact us. Feel free to reach out. We'll even take a look at your spreadsheet and upload it for you if you're having an issue. Just attach the spreadsheet file to your email when you contact us. And one more thing. If you're enjoying using the program, we'd love for you to drop us a review on Captera. Click here and tell us what you think.